Now, Rosie, it's time for dessert. We've had two savoury dishes. Time for something sweet. Mm. In my bowl here, I'm going to crack three eggs, and you're going to whisk them up. You're yep. going to do all the work, Rosie. I'm just going to That's add fine. things. So there we go. So three eggs into a large bowl. I'm going to make cottage cheese fritters, mm. and they're going to be delicious. Great. I know they're going to be delicious because I've made them before, and they're <laughs> lovely. So you whisk up the three eggs there. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of brandy. Yep. Brandy is optional, but it gives it a lovely adult flavour. A nice little splash of brandy goes in there. Beautiful. And also some vanilla. We want a little bit of vanilla Ooh, A bit of vanilla there. extract. So a quick lovely. splash, splash of that. Thank you. In it goes. Whisk that together. Oh, it smells nice. It does smell nice. Mm. Now we've got to add the cottage cheese now. 200 grams of cottage cheese goes in there with a spatula. Make sure I get it all out. Now cottage cheese can sometimes be quite moist and wet like this one is. Yep. And often it can be quite dry. So depending on the cottage cheese you use, you might need to adjust your recipe. I've also got 200 grams of self-raising flour to give us some lift. In that goes. There we go. And some sugar. I'm using coconut sugar. Ooh, About a quarter one. of a cup is enough to make it nice good and man. sweet. I like it. You could add a little bit more if you want more sweetness, but for me, that's about enough. Now, it's starting to get a bit tough This is now. when the work begins, yeah. Exactly. So if you want, you can get rid of the whisk and use the wooden spoon that's over there. And I'm going to add some baking powder, and that's going to give okay, it I'm even ready. more lift and make, make it taste. There we go, yeah. Once it gets really tough like that, the whisk becomes ineffective. So you want to change it over to the wooden spoon and work it. And if you do it properly and you get someone else to do it, they get all the mess all over them and you can stay nice and clean. Right. A little zest of lemon goes in there. And, you know, for something different, you can put some orange zest in there yep. as well if you like something like that. Okay, Rosie, fold that through. Now, a good tip with a batter like this, once you've made it, let it sit for, you know, 20 minutes, yep. half an hour. It just settles in. I'll just let you stir around that last little bit and I'll bring it over here, Rosie. I've got my oil already on, vegetable oil. I've got it set to the right temperature, which is 165 yep. degrees Celsius. I always use a digital thermometer. Keep it nice and safe. Keep the kitties away from it. And here's a little tip, Rosie. When I'm going to make these little fritters, I grab a spoon and I'm using one of these old type spoons because I like the shape they've got. And a little tip is I pop it into the oil like this this, just to make it non-stick and Beautiful. then I just grab a little fritter like this and then pop it in. And you can see it pops straight off the spoon and it's bubbling away beautifully. The tip is to make small fritters. They cook a little bit faster and it's much easier to get them to cook all the way through. Another couple in there like that. I'll fill this little bowl up. And if you want, it's a good idea to also have another spoon handy just in case. There we go. We'll get a few of these in, get them frying. They'll take about four or five minutes. We'll keep an eye on them, take them out and then we'll finish them off. Doesn't take long, Rosie, and they actually come up nice and golden. Now, I got this idea from a friend of mine. They make uh, Hungarian dumplings that are very similar to these. So that's where I got the recipe from. I sort of tweaked it a little bit, but yeah. you know how it works. There we go. Pop these on here like that. You can see they've come up beautifully. Icing sugar on top because icing sugar makes everything tasty. <laughs> and it also looks good as well. A bit of icing sugar, a bit of snow on the top there. That looks great, doesn't it? You can serve them just like this in the middle of the table. You know what, Rosie? <laughs> I know you love these sorts of things. I know you've got a healthy stuff. That's what you have to yeah, do. I have a little sweet tooth as well. But this is what it's all about. Yeah. I do the sometimes food and sometimes, 80, 20. And sometimes one times food that you have in your life. But, yeah. you know, your job is to make people healthy and nice yeah. and, you know, have like, lovely, lovely, healthy food. Now, I'm going to drizzle some maple syrup over the top there because it makes it even more sweet and delicious. And I make sure I put a fair bit of maple syrup in the bottom. As you break the little fritter open or donut, whatever you want to call it, you can soak up all the maple syrup in the bottom. Now, Rosie, while you put the cream while we're on... at it, it's a bit of double cream as well, huh? I'm just going to open that up to show you how cooked in the middle and steamed beautifully nice and soft and they smell great and I'm just going to grab this one and put some maple well, syrup I'll on it. I'll take this little bit there, there as go. well then. Do you want some maple syrup on that I'll one? have a little tiny dip of the oh, uh, rosy size amount of uh, double cream. Have a little taste of that. Mm. Beautiful, nice and crisp on the outside. Mm. You can taste that brandy, the alcohol comes mm. out of it a little bit but once again that's for, uh, for adults and not children. That's a great little fritter, isn't it? Look, this is a bit of a moderation food. I could probably only have half, maybe one, but Rosie, we know the truth. <laughs> You're going to have three or four because you love them. I know you do. They're no, great, aren't they? I love what you did with cottage cheese. We've shown how versatile it really is. It's very flavoursome when you do the right things with it. So I'm quite impressed with our recipes today.